first moment is the full immersion in the studio environment. The studio environment means both the physical place uh, where we all work together, um, and what we've introduced recently is a shared studio for both undergraduate and postgraduate studio. But the studio means also a certain form of learning almost by absorption of ideas and uh, knowledge about the discipline, almost through your skin, uh, because you learn by doing and by working with others. And I think, uh, well, as all architects know, one learns more from other students or peers or colleagues than from us. We're just there to, I presume, inspire and, and suggest and kindly uh, guide. Um, so the studio is both a physical space where we all work together, but it's also a kind of relation which combines formal uh, lectures and um, revision of projects, which are one-to-one -one or in groups. So it's very varied, but it's very important that everything happens in that space. And we're quite privileged here because we have this amazing space, uh, which is not only in the center of the city, but has a visual relation with the city. We see the city all the time. And that's quite important because especially in the um, undergraduate uh, uh, program, we go into the city and a lot of the uh, different courses deal with city-related uh, issues, which may range from cemeteries and funeral design to uh, amusement parks or even uh, speculative uh, theoretical projects for uh, different kind of social facilities, while other groups may be working on uh, very practical, very realistic problems of uh, social housing. Um, and it's very important that through the curriculum, um, a student uh, experiences all these different kinds of issues, uh, scales, complexities, um, and is able also to test them on, on the ground, uh, literally in, in the city.